In this video, I'm gonna take you through how to pick an order using the mobile app. So from the switch mode screen, what you can do is just jump straight into this picking mode. So tap into that. And then what it does is it loads the orders which are in a, in a pickable status, such as awaiting pick and pack or packing in progress. Now from here, I can see just sort of the list of orders all the way down the screen, but I can also go in and do things like filter those orders or search for specific orders. So if I just jump into the filters for a second, I'll show you some of these options. One of them is, is that I can group the orders by customer. So if I turn that on and then just tap out of these filters again, this is actually really efficient because it consolidates orders together by customer, which means that I can just quickly jump to uh, specific orders, well, for, to a specific customer's orders and then just go through their orders and pick them. So if I'm picking in a particular part of the warehouse where I'm just doing Burley Hammock Co, I can just very quickly get to all of their orders and start picking those. Some other filters we have as well as things like sorting. Do you want the urgent orders to appear first? Um, do you want to filter the orders for a certain ship date, such as stuff that must leave the warehouse today? And then we have some other things down here as well. One of the things is the assignee. So within Card and Cloud, one of the things you can do is you can assign an order to a particular picker, and that then shows up in this top right corner. So you can see that these two orders here, this, this one here and this one here are both assigned to me. They've got my name on those or VF, Vincent Fletcher. If I go to some other customer, then they can be either unassigned like this one. So they have no initials in there at all, or they might have somebody else's initials in them. So I can see here that these orders are all sort of packing in progress and that's being done by somebody else. So I generally wouldn't want to go and start you know, interfering with those orders because they're probably somewhere else in the warehouse being picked right now. However, if they did come to me and say, hey, I, you know, I need to finish early or I can't get through my orders, can you come and help me? I can absolutely just jump in and take over those orders, but the design is that it will sort of stop you from just starting those orders automatically. So what I'm going to do now is I've got an order loaded in here that I'm going to pick from a couple of these locations and I'll go through that process. So this particular order is one of these, um, these Burley Hammock Co. orders and it's this order going to Bunnings and Southport. So I'm going to tap into that and then what it does is straight away is it brings up the list of products that I need to go and pick. I can see the location name is the first thing listed and then underneath that it's got the product name. I can also see over here the quantity that I need to pick. So this first one is I need to pick two units. The next one is I just need to pick a single unit. I can also jump across and see information about the sales order. Um, and you can also do things in here too, like you know filter the products that are on the screen, search for particular SKUs, that kind of stuff within that order. What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna start this task. So if I just press this button, what it's gonna do is it's gonna assign the order to me and mark that order as packing in progress. So I can now come along, and from here, if you're using a scanner, then you can just come along and just start scanning barcodes. If you're not using a scanner, you can just tap into these items and say increment the quantities and do that sort of thing manually. But I am using a scanner. This is a device that has a barcode scanner on the top. So what I'm gonna do is come along and scan that location, and then it immediately identifies, okay, I need to pick this particular product from that location. So I can then come along, scan that barcode, and it's picked that item and saved that information as well. So I can take that box, put that one onto my trolley, and then I'm looking for this location ending in C3. So that's just down here. So I can come along, again, scan that location. This time I need two of these items. So I can pick this up, scan it. it says I've got one of two so far. Scan the second one, two of two, and, and that's it. This whole, uh, this whole order is picked, and I can complete that task. Then if you're using the mobile app to do your pack stage, you can do that. Uh, if you're not using the mobile app to do that, like let's say that you're doing that back at a, a desk, then you, know, you can do that from there as well. So I'm just gonna close back out of this, come back to the order list, and now I can carry on with some other order. What I'm gonna show you next is an example of an order where we're actually picking sort of more than just a box and it's a product that also can be picked by pallet. And I just wanna show you how the app presents that 
so that you don't waste time trying to calculate exactly how many boxes you can pick when you could just go and grab a whole pallet out of the location. So come with me and we'll head down here and we'll do that now. So with this example, what I'm going to be doing is picking a whole pallet of quantity and then an additional item. So I'm going to jump into this order now for Officeworks. And what you can see here is it's got these things split across two different locations. And one of them here, it says there's a total of 10 units that need to be picked. So I can either scan the location or I'm just going to tap into this particular one. Um, because I haven't already started this order and I, it's not updated to packing in progress, it's just asked me, do you want to start this? And I'm, yep, I'm going to start picking this order. Cool. So that updates the status, takes me into that particular item. But one of the really cool things you can see here is this section here. So it actually tells me the recommended pick for this is just a single pallet of 10 units. Now, if I've got like a, a barcode that represents, you know, a, sort of like a pallet barcode, I can just come and scan that. Um, I can just go and scan the 10 unit barcodes if I want to. But something else I can do is down here, I can actually just say, yes, I'm picking the whole pallet and then confirm that. So I would obviously come in here with a forklift, lift this up, take this over to sort of my dispatch area and do that. For the next item, because this is just a single unit, this is the same product, but it doesn't have that recommended pick thing in there. So I can just come along, scan the barcode or increment the quantity on the screen and hit confirm. So we've tried to make it really easy for you when you're dealing with palletized quantities or there could be other things too, like you have units inside inners um, and then inners inside outers and the system will tell you things like, you know, pick three inners plus a unit. Uh, so we show all of that on the screen to try and make it fast and easy and to make sure that you don't make any mistakes when you're picking orders and dispatching them.